Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Today I've got another five minute make for you and this one is super quick and it is perfect as a masculine card if you wish. So for son, for granddad, for dad, something like that. But of course you can make it equally feminine if you just use different colours, different papers, whatever suits the recipient. So I have got a card base first of all. Uh, I'm not going to give you measurements because this is a custom size. So you can do this technique, uh, this sort of a theme and pattern for absolutely any card base really but you want to cover your card base with a nice dark color so I've used this beautiful navy blue color so I'm just going to glue this down flat onto my card so I'm just using Kalau glue so I'm gluing this on with no border I find no border actually gives a really nice sleek look to a card there we go. Then I've got a scrap of paper, and this really is a scrap, as you can see. I've got two different sides to it. I think I'm going to use this side, and I'm going to use this corner here, like so. I think that will be... Actually, I quite prefer... I think I prefer this side. So what I want to do is just have it kind of angled, so it's taking up about three quarters of the card there. Now I'm going to draw a line. In fact, it might actually be easier, more accurate to fold your paper along one like so and one up here. And then I can I just move that, but then I can trim that and that should be reasonably accurate when I trim it. There we go. Now you just want to be sure that this space here will hold the sentiment that you're going to die cut in. Now I'm going to use individual alphabet dies so I know that they will fit along here. So I'm just going to trim those two fold lines. There we go and just double check again that that's going to fit on there perfectly. Okay so now I'm going to take my alphabet dies and I'm going to position these along the edge, that long bottom edge there. Now these are dies from my um, monoprint collection, the textures monoprint collection. Um, so these are quite fancy, some of them they have flourishes on them, you can use bolder letters if you wish, it's entirely really your choice, so just spacing them nice and evenly but also making sure the spacing at the bottom is even too. So a little bit of low tack tape to hold this down, obviously you need to be careful if like me you're using a new piece of low tack tape that you're not going to uh, damage the surface of your pattern paper when you take that up. So run that through my die cutting machine. Like I say, being ever so careful when lifting the tape off because we're actually using the waste here rather than the um, positive parts that come out. So we've got those in there. I've actually got, I obviously need to clean my trimmer blade because I've got some feathering going on there, but I'll trim that afterwards. So that's going to sit on there like that. And I'm going to also include the pieces from in between the letters in a moment. So that's looking striking already. I'm going to take some foam pads. I did do that pencil line, so let's just erase that and let's just gently run my scissors along the edge here, make sure I've got no feathering there anymore. So easiest way for me to um, sharpen my trimmer blade, if I'm not ready to replace it yet, is to just run it over some general cooking foil. So I fold it up a few times, pop it in my machine, in my trimmer and then run that through and it does work i've done it lots of times i'm just going to cut some slimmer pieces to pop down the bottom of the letters as well oops this is just black foam squares let's make sure that that fits on there nicely this is really just to support the bottom of the panel the panel's not going to go anywhere and hopefully we can squeeze one more along the edge just there like so let's adhere this making sure that I am right up to if not half a millimeter over the edge so you get a nice clean finish now the pieces from inside of course we also want to do these so pop them out actually looking at the die there the bottom and the edge here are actually really slim so it's going to go about there okay perfect now the finishing touch for this a pop of color we've got the navy blue but i'm also going to add some lighter blue just some enamel dots here if you've got enamel droplets in a bottle for example they would also work and i think i'm going to also add 
a pop of yellow too. There we go, nice and easy. Now I would be really tempted to take this to my sewing machine and stitch around the edge, but that would not be making it a five minute card. But it's definitely something that you can do. You can whip up in a few minutes and the beauty of it is, is it actually uses up those odd shaped scraps that you've got in your craft stash. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget to check out the five minute makes playlist just here as well, where you'll find lots of cards like this that only take a few minutes to create. And I'd love it if you could subscribe to my channel too. Have a fabulous weekend, everybody. I'll see you again very soon. Thank you.